simplest radical form worksheet number two simplify the following radicals to the simplest form well you can copy these four pause the video answer this the question and then look into my solution the four radicals given on this sheet are square root of 50 square root of 200 square root of 320 and square root of 450 how do you simplify it so the first step is writing the number in factored form preferably if you can write one of the factor as a perfect square then it's faster to simplify otherwise you have to go through many more steps right I'll show you with example what I really mean square root of 50 could be written as 25 times 2 correct 25 times 2 is 50 and 25 is a perfect square therefore I can write this as 5 square root 2 and get my answer right so I know square root of 50 is 5 square root 2 now let's do with 200 now 200 could be written as square root of 2 times 100 right 2 times 100 is 200 now 100 is a perfect square so I can write this as 10 square root of 2 right since 100 is a perfect square it could be written as 10 square root of 2 how about 320 now it's very difficult to guess like what two numbers should we take so that one of them is a perfect square so in that case what we can do is we can do like 320 8 times 4 is 32 and uh, times 10 is 320 so let's write down as 8 times 2 times 10 okay so 8 times 4 rather so 8 times 4 times 10 as 320 well it doesn't really serve our purpose none of them is a perfect square now what to do in this situation what we can do is we can further factorize each term right we know 8 is 4 times 2 so I can write 8 as 4 times 2 I already have 4 here okay and 10 could be written as 2 times 5 right so we got so many factors well that helps it helps since we have two fours and two fives correct under the square root right so we can factor one of the fours out so we get four here times one of the twos out times two and within the square root we get five four times two is eight and we can write this as eight square root of five that is one way of doing it correct we could always do it like this so I'm showing you this method that when the numbers are pretty big at that time don't really wait to figure out which are perfect squares and which are not right you could go straight like this just break it down into smaller factors and then figure out what best combinations could give you perfect squares right so 4 times 4 16 16 square root is 4 2 times 2 4 4 square root 2 you can look that like like that also right so these are different ways of factoring now 450 450 you know 9 times 5 is 45 times 10 is 450 correct you know 9 is a perfect square no problem let's keep 9 separate and then we are left with 5 times 10 now 5 times 10 could be written as 2 times 5 do you see that 2 times 5 is 10 now what do we have we have 5 times 5 under the radical which is 25 and square root of 25 is 5 we can factor that out so we get 3 from here right and we get 5 from there square root of 2 so in a way the answer is 15 square root of 2 so that becomes the factored form in the simplest possible way simplest because now you can see whatever is there in the radical cannot be simplified further since they do not have any factor which is a perfect square so that's that's the whole idea right I hope these steps help you to understand how to simplify radicals into its simplest form thank you